Stanfield to Orr. Orr drives. Goal! Sam McKenzie, I believe, tipped it in, and it's one nothing Boston. And that nullifies the balance of a few seconds on Peter Mahovlich's penalty. Still a minute 20 left to Terry Harper's penalty. Well, as always has happened lots of times this winter, here's that low shot by Orr just inside the goal post, right along the ice, perfect position, and it's nice and low, which is where Bobby likes it. Now watch it. Just inside the goal post, right there. McKenzie, I think, missed it on the way in. And the goal will, will go to Bobby Orr from Stanfield. In that game on Thursday night, Yvonne Cornoyer came up with a great move to give Montreal an early one to nothing lead. That goal came at 3.32 of the first period, but the Bruins came back to score five consecutive goals, and although as it turned out, it wasn't to be a runaway, it had begun to look like one. Cornoyer's got it in front. Shot scores. It's one nothing Canadians as Cornoyer has clocked his second goal in the second game of the series. Well, you won't see any better goal scorer than this little fellow from Montreal, number 12. Watch this great move right here, right there. Johnson goes down. He holds on to it. He could have shot it, but he knew he didn't have room. Then he waited for him to go down and then flipped it right up into the top oh, corner, the just inside that crossbar, and it dropped down over the line. Busick against the backboards. Puck is loose. Stanfield digs it out. Orr drives. Scores! It's all tied up as Bobby Orr took the beautiful feet out by Stanfield and rammed it home. Well, a very alert play here by Bobby Orr. You'll see him coming in very close here now for a shot on goal that goes all the way. Here's the centering pass out in front, right here. And there's Bobby moving in. Oh, he's only 15 feet, and there's the shot. And he beat um, Ken Dryden up in the top corner. Shot stopped by Johnston, cleared by Green for Esposito. Bruins start right back, Green through center. Cross to Hodge on the right wing, centering pass. Great score by Ted Green, and it's 2-1 Boston. Green tapping that pass from Hodge from the right wing, right by Dryden. Well, a beautiful centering pass by Hodge. Here it comes here. Now here's Green to Hodge on the right side. It's in his skates, but he, he picks it up. Now watch this centering pass right here, and Green keeps coming through there, and he just tips it by Dryden right there, right along the ice, between his pads and underneath them. Stanfield in the slot, block, his oar, drive, stopped by Dryden, a great save, scores! McKenzie has scored on a power play, it's 3-1 Boston. Well, here's a magnificent save by Dryden on the drive by Orr. Uh, but McKenzie picks up the rebound and drives it home. Watch this great stop on the point shot from Orr right there. And there's McKenzie now. Where is he? There he is, right there with the puck. Watch that puck go in behind Dryden, right there. And it... Orr with Hodge. Hodge into Orr, but it's broken up by LaPerrier. Dallas Smith taps it into Orr. He's controlling, cuts down the slot to Esposito. Back in front. Score, Casper. It's 4-1 Bruins. Cashman has scored his second goal in as many nights. Well, Canadians are having problems getting the puck out of their own end, and you watch Orr take advantage of it right here. Dallas Smith keeps it in. Now here's a, a great play by Orr to Esposito, and then Esposito's great pass across to Cashman, and he just taps it home behind Dryden. Here's the backhand pass right across the front of the net, and there's Cashman swooping it in. Westfall back to Orr. Orr shifts on Sheehan, drives, goal! It's 5-1 Boston as Orr has drilled his second goal of the night. Two goals and two assists. Don, I think this goal's going to go to Derek Sanderson. I think he tipped it in, standing at the right corner of the crease. Orr's drive. Is, here's a good play by Westfall. Now watch him fake that Canadian out of the play. Here's a great shift by Orr right there. I think that's Bobby Sheehan. Now watch the drive. Sanderson standing by the side of the net. There he is, right there. I think he's going to get credit for that goal. There it is. See, it went, it went from the right corner across to the left, which means it's got to hit somebody, and I think Sanderson will get the goal. 
up to Derek Sanderson. Back to Orr, trying to shift on Richard. He's got daylight. In on Johnston, scores, and it's 5-2 as Richard makes a good move to beat Ed Johnston. It's 5-2. Here's a steal right here, Richard of Onor. Now watch this great body move here. Here's a beautiful body play right there, and he set himself. Now watch this draw to the far side of Johnson's right. There it is right there, beautiful play, and he just tucks it home. Richard's score pulled the Canadiens to within three goals, but there didn't seem to be a heck of a lot to worry about as the period ended with the Bruins leading 5-2. But there were some really unfortunate things, five of them, that happened in the third period. We'll watch it again, if you're all strong enough, right after this. Delavo. Out to Roberto. Behind the back, Philip Point. In tight. Cornway tries to stuff it home, and Delavo scores. It's 5-3. Power play goal by Jean Delavo. Brings the score to 5-3 Boston. Well, here's a scramble in front of the Boston net. Cornway eh? and Ferguson get it in front. And it goes to the right side. And Bellavo standing right there. There's Cornway eh? There's Ferguson. Now watch Bellavo on that right side right there. He just pushed it in. You saw the edge of his stick. Checked by Ferguson. Here's Bellavo moving in. Backhander scores. And now it's down to seat squirming time. It's 5-4. Great backhander by Jean Beliveau getting his second straight. Well, you can't let big John Beliveau in there too close too many times because he can put him in the net. And watch this beautiful shift right here now. There's the shift with the puck, getting it away from Sanderson. The backhander looked like it went right between Eddie Johnston's pads and into the net. Hodge takes for it. Out to Orr, but here comes a breakaway. Jacques Lemaire. Lemaire a breakaway. And it's all tied up 5-5. Five, five. An errant clearing pass back to the point, and LaMere intercepts and goes the distance. Well, here's the danger of passing that puck back to the point, and you'll see LaMere intercept it. There it is right there. Here's LaMere coming through. He made a great play there. Now watch this drive. It's a beautiful shot, high rising, underneath the left, the right shoulder of Johnston, right here. There's LaMere, went right underneath his shoulder, up into the top corner. And it's out in front, 5-5 five, five now, all tied up as Lemaire broke out in front, all by himself, unassisted. Dallas Smith trying to tie it up, out front, scored, Ferguson, and the Canadians have gone back out in front, 6-5. Well, determined work by Beliveau in behind the uh, Boston net, you'll see it right here. There's Beliveau, now watch this centering pass right on the Ferguson stick, there he is, standing right out there. And he just snaps it home. Eddie Johnson never moves. See him right there. He didn't even see it. Still going. Now to McKenzie. Out front goes right in front of Dryden. Here comes Phil Roberto. Lead pass to Mahovlich. Walking home on Johnston. And he scores. It's 7-5 Montreal. Well, he hadn't done much all night long, Mahavlich, up and down his wing, but not too spectacular. But here's a great play. Now watch this lead pass, and he moves in there. Beautiful play by Mahavlich. Watch this drive, a high-rising shot to the far corner. Johnston, no chance on it whatsoever. It's about halfway up, and it's Canadian seven. The Boston Bruins five. With And the Bruins start out. Wing to wing pass for Cashman. Back to Orr. Orr goes to the corner for it. Knocks it. Scores! An unbelievable angle. And the puck found the far post. And it's all tied up. Well, the Bruins 
finally got a break right here. Bobby Orr picked the puck out of the air. He was almost behind that goal line, but it somehow, some way, that puck went in behind Dryden on the feed from Cashman. Now watch it here. This is a bouncing puck. Watch Orr golf this now, right in the air. There it is, right there. And he went behind Dryden into the far corner. There it goes, right inside the goal post. And the Bruins finally got that break, and it's all tied up at one to one. Or back in the zone. Drives, great block save. Dryden almost got him going the wrong way. I don't know, there's another great glove save on the drive by Orr. Here it comes right here, cuts into the center. Now the drive right here, and he's caught Dryden going the other way. Watch him reach back. He was going the other way, a little bit farther to Ryden's left, and he never would have gotten that one. Esposito out to Orr, cuts down the slot, drives, scores! It's 3-1 Boston. A body or a bullet that Dryden never saw coming. That's Bobby's second goal of the game, his fourth of the series. And that's got to be a big spark. Look right here, good pass from Esposito, Orr wide open in the slot. He just winds up and lets fly, beats Dryden to the glove side in the far corner, and it's 3-1 Boston. Time of the goal comes at 37 seconds. Now it's Esposito with a 2-on-1. The net wide open. Orr's got it. Hat trick for Bobby Orr. It's 5-2. And that pretty much puts it out of reach. Three seconds left in tonight's game. The Bruins will be going back to Boston even in the series with two of the next three games on Boston Garden Ice. That just added the frosting on the cake because the Bruins had a two-goal lead with only three seconds left to play, but Orr and Esposito passed it back and forth, and Orr finally shot it into the open net, and it's now 5-2 to two in favor of the Bruins. Bobby Orr getting his third goal of the night. Esposito will draw an assist on the play, and... He moves it to center ice. Drops it back for Bobby Orr. Orr takes it deep. Around Trombley. Out front, a back in. Great goal by Westfall for Bobby Orr. A short-handed goal, it's 5-1. Well, the Bruins are right on the beam now, and there's a great play by Orr. Dallas Smith gets it back to Orr on the drop. And Orr goes around behind the net. A little flip pass out in center. Here's Orr now going wide. Can't get around Trombley. Now here he goes behind the net. Right out in front. And then Westfall just flips it with a backhander into that far corner. Showdown, Boston Garden. Here's Kenny Hodge, a shot, he scores! Hodge! the ball in the head, one to nothing. Into the Bruins goal with Mahomet, the pass to Mahomet, he scores! Two and a half minutes left in the period. Beat Mahomet. Hard pass! They score! Bruins are going to have to change entirely. They look like a tired team. They've lost their fire and spark. And certainly the kind of aggressiveness that won them so many games this year. Smith checked by Mahovlich to Lemaire. Lemaire tried to flip it in front. Here's Bromley at the point, moving in. The shot! He scores! Bromley! Back to Orr. He stuck by Mahovlich. Ahead to Lemaire. Moving in. Mahovlich, he scores! Frank Mahovlich set up by Lemaire. Hopped on that loose puck. Here it is on the play. Poked away by Mahovlich in the first instance. 
Dallas Smith frantically trying to get back. Lemaire on the fake shot, drawing Cheevers out. And the wide open net as the Big M scores his second of the afternoon, his seventh of the playoffs. Look at it again. You'll see the great pass by Lemaire. And the Canadians lead 4-1. If you had to look at any one man this afternoon, it's got to be Ken Dryden, who's been playing a magnificent net. He simply got them intimidated. No matter what they've done this afternoon, this big guy at 6'4", well over 200 pounds, has had the nets covered up. And the Montreal Canadiens race out onto the ice to congratulate rookie goaltender Ken Dryden. A tremendous upset by the Montreal Canadiens. And the Bruins, the defending Stanley Cup champions, are out of it. And they line up to congratulate the victorious Montreal Canadiens. I know you're going to have plenty of time to think about it, and people are going to remind you, but you seem to be flat. Everybody seemed to be flat, particularly today when they thought they'd come out banging. I wish I knew the answer, Don. And uh, whatever it was, we would have tried to correct it earlier, but uh, we just didn't play hockey. We didn't skate. Uh, I know we're going to get the, the razzmatazz about being too happy with the season that's gone by, but we're probably professional athletes, and there's no damn way that uh, we were being satisfied with the season. There was one guy that stands out in my mind as the reason for the Bruins losing the first round of the playoffs. It has to be Ken Dryden.